locked doors that some inmates have been behind for months. But Chief Deputy Tom Fox says it's time for them to move out. What we're looking at is trying to get some of the older cases moved through the system so we can relieve some of the jail crowding. Moving them through the system by doing a mass arraignment in December. At the time of the arraignment, we'll either find out if it's a plea or a trial, and if it's a trial, what date do you want to put this? So we will basically fill up just from jail uh, January, February, and March trial rosters. According to Solicitor Jimmy Richardson, a buildup of older cases happens for people accused of more serious crimes who aren't as motivated to make a plea. The people whose plea offer are a lot bigger, which you would have for rape, murder, um, kidnapping, those sort of charges, those guys sit out at the jail for a longer period of time than some of the less serious offenses. And there are several reasons for crowding in general. There's the population increase in Horry County as well as the opioid epidemic. More people are stealing, breaking into houses, breaking into cars to, to get money to, to support their addictions. Jay Rubin technically has room for more inmates, but the county would have to come up with more money for more staff as well as for the cost of more inmates. If you have 200 more inmates in a jail, that's 600 more meals a day times 365 days a year, an increase in meal costs, uniform costs, medical costs, so we're just trying to get it to a manageable level.